Hello, Java hipsters. This is Matt Rabel. I'm here to talk to you about JHipster release 4.10. In 4.10, we have refactored OAuth support and OpenID Connect support. This will work with Keycloak or an IDP like Okta. It could also work with others such as Google or Facebook. So to get started, you'll have to install the latest release, npm install, and then you'll create a directory, make dir jhipster oidc. You'll cd into that and run yo jhipster. Then I'm going to do a monolith here just to make it easier. And I'll name it OIDC. Default package name, just choose what it has there. And then I'm going to choose OAuth2 and OIDC SQL database. I like Postgres, H2 a disk, H cache, Maven. And I won't choose any extras, just Angular 4. And no SAS. And yes, internationalization English and French. And we'll choose Protractor to make sure everything's running correctly after we've built everything. So you will need to start Keycloak to log in. And you can run the application with just MBN. And then go to localhost 8080 and click the sign in link. You can log in with the defaults, admin, admin, or user, user. And you can see that you can navigate to the admin screens. Now as far as how everything's configured, that is documented in the readme file. Um, but let's go ahead and run Protractor to verify that everything is set up and all the admin screens render correctly. So if you kill Keycloak and open up the README, you can see there's a section on OAuth2 and OpenID Connect. It shows you what Keycloak uses by default in source main resources application.yml. And then it shows you how you can use Okta to override those and gives you instructions for setting that up on your developer account, developer.okta.com. So I have a okta.env file that overrides the defaults and you can just source that and start up the app. And if we go to localhost 8080, you can see that now we're talking to Okta. So I can use my administrator account. There we are. Now we're logged in as an administrator and the audits and everything work as expected. So now I'll go ahead and deploy to Cloud Foundry, Yo J Hipster Cloud Foundry. And we'll call it OIDC. We'll use the prod profile, use Postgres. And then this does take a, while, a little while, so I sped things up to make it less painful. And then you'll need to, obviously, if you open it up right away, it's still configured for Keycloak. And if you click sign in, you're going to get a 404, unless you have it running. Um, but then it'll fail on the, uh, the redirect URI. So clear that out. And I have an Okta CF SH where I basically source those environment variables and then set Cloud Foundry variables. So I'll run that for the OIDC app. And it's going to force HTTPS and set the access token URI, the authorization URI, the user info URI, and then client ID and client secret. And it prompts you to use CF restage. So we'll type that in. Then that'll restart the application. And while that's restarting, you can see on jhipster.tech slash security, there is documentation just like in the README file. So not only for session and JOT authentication, but also OAuth 2.0 shows you the default key cloak settings and what you might use for Okta. 
as well as how to configure Okta. It's also got these scripts for setting those environment variables on Heroku and Cloud Foundry. So once that's restarted, you can go ahead and log into that URL. Sometimes it doesn't actually force HTTPS on that root URL. So I type it in, click sign in, and I've already configured this as a redirect URI allowed on Okta. So I'm already logged into Okta, therefore it doesn't prompt me for a login. If I use an incognito window, you can see that it will prompt me and it'll also redirect from HTTP to HTTPS. And I'll just use a regular user account instead of an admin account this time. And there you go. This has been a demonstration of jhipster with its new refactored OAuth 2 support, OpenID Connect support with Keycloak and Okta. Hope you have a great day.